tell y'all I just broke my dang earring. I'm mad as hell. I was putting these gold earrings on and the one, the part that goes in the ear just completely fell off. And I love these gold hoops. I'm mad, but hey y'all. Like I said, you would have already seen me in this same outfit recording a different video. I promise I'm just recording more than one video in a day, but I am not wearing the same outfit. But anyways, y'all, so today I want to talk to y'all about, um, sorry if it's echoey. Like I said, I'm in Atlantic Station at my father's loft that he stayed at while he was here in Atlanta. But, so it's a little like, you know, high ceilings and stuff in here. So sorry if it's echoey. Um, first of all, I love the artwork. There's the stairs, it's just like a record player here. It's cute. But I want to talk to y'all about my uh, fragrances today, my favorite fragrances. So I did a vlog where I kind of, I think I showed y'all like my house, my unfinished house in Houston. And y'all probably saw um, my dresser where I had all these fragrances. And I love fragrances. I'm always looking at fragrances, buying new fragrances. And so I wanted to talk to y'all about some of my favorite scents today. So let's get my collection out and this it. So the first thing I want to talk about that was on my dresser is this. And the reason why I want to talk about this is because it was literally there for decoration, okay? Because all this is is Forever Red by Bath & Body Works. Now, I do wear Forever Red by Bath & Body Works, but it's not, in my opinion, a dresser-worthy fragrance. Um, I don't put my Bath & Body Works fragrance on my dresser. They stay, like, off in my under my sink or in my closet because I do put on Bath Body Works lotion and fragrances for just like day-to-day -day smell. I also use Scentbird fragrances for day-to-day -day smells and then I use these other fragrances um, when it, you know, like special occasion, like if I'm going on date night or if I have an interview, something like that. So Forever Red is uh, Bath and Body Works. For Bath & Body Works, the only fragrances that I use from them, like an actual fragrance that I would wear, is Forever Red, Champagne Toast, In the Stars, Into the Night, and Midnight, Moonlit Path, not Midnight, Moonlit Path. So those are the only ones that I wear. The reason why I wear those is because they, they are strong, and I like strong scents. I don't like no mediocre. So the next thing that was on my dresser is this. And this is Nude by Rihanna. Y'all, I love this fragrance. Um, it mixes very well with, there's a discontinued fragrance by Bath & Body Works called Kaleidoscope. So I used to put on Kaleidoscope lotion and then spray Rihanna Nude over it. And people would be like, girl, what do you have on? You smell so good, you smell so fruity, you smell like really good. So Rihanna Nude is another day-to-day -day fragrance that I wear. And honestly, I think I've seen Rihanna Nude in like Burlington. So yeah, you can get hers like not even just in a department store, but in like Burlington or Ross, they sell them in the little plastic bottles. I think I saw them. The next one is Juicy Couture. Now, I'm not gonna lie, y'all, this was a gift. Juicy Couture is not my favorite, and I think that I've had this for two years, and you see how much is still in there because I barely use it. And the reason why I barely use it is because I don't feel like it's strong enough. I feel like when I put this on, by the end of the day, you can't smell it anymore. I don't like that. I want you, I'm the kind of girl where when I walk past, I want you to be like, dang, she smelled good. That's what I like. So I don't use this a lot. I might give it away. I don't know. But I didn't want to give it away because it was a gift. But it's just the regular old, you know, original Juicy Couture. And that brings me to Ariana Grande. So <laughs> this had a little, there's like a little chain right here because it had a big fluff ball on it, but the fluff ball fell off. So it's Ariana Grande, um, I think this is just called Ariana. I don't remember, honestly. 
I bought this on a whim. I saw it in the store, I smelled it, and I thought it smelled good. But it does smell good. But to be honest, same thing. It reminds me of Juicy Couture. The, some of the notes are a little different on it, but I feel like when I put it on by the end of the day, you don't smell me anymore, and I don't like that. So the same thing, I've had this for about two years, and you see how much of it I've used because the scent just doesn't stay all day in my opinion. So look, maybe I'll start using those on a day to day instead of Bath and Body Works so I can get rid of them. Now, let's get to the fragrances that I actually love. Oh no. Okay guys, so um, this was also a gift. And this is a Marc Jacobs Perfect. Now, I am a Marc Jacobs Daisy girl. I love Marc Jacobs Daisy. And the person who bought me this, I told them that I wanted Marc Jacobs Daisy and they couldn't find it. So they got me Marc Jacobs Perfect. And I'm not gonna lie, at the time, can you see that? The top on this is so cute. At the time, y'all, I acted like a big brat about it. I was mad that they got me this, but I really love Marc Jacobs Perfect now. It smells so good. It smells like same thing cut, very fruity, and it lasts all day. The, t the top on it is so cute. It has like a star, a shoe, some dice, a banana, like just random stuff that girls like. Um, and this same thing. So I would put on Kaleidoscope Bath and Body Works lotion and then spray this and same thing with the Rihanna. I always get, girl, you smell so good. What do you have on? Blah, 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 blah. So Marc Jacobs Perfect is another one of my fragrances that I love. All right, so the next one is, I got my, <laughs> y'all, when we drove from Houston, I had my um, fragrances in this uh, Chanel box. And this is actually the Chanel blue box that I bought Chanel blue for Bay, and this is the box that it came in. So all my fragrances are in this Chanel box. That's why they're wrapped up in um, bubble wrap, because when we moved from Houston. So, this is a, uh, dang, why can't you see it? Coco Chanel, and it's um, Mademoiselle Y'all. If you don't have this fragrance, if you don't have Coco Chanel, Mademoiselle, I'm just gonna assume that you stink. Because, what? What? Y'all, I love this scent. It smells so good and it's so strong. Like it lasts so long. Like, let me tell y'all one time with Coco Chanel, I, when I put on perfume, when I first get out the shower, I spray neck, neck, wrist, wrist, mid arm mid arm and i spray my back okay that's what i do then when i put my clothes on i spray all over my body again and one time i had put on a workout outfit that i had on the day before i ain't gonna lie okay i worked out in this outfit you know sprayed myself and then i put it on a second day and went to work out again y'all I was walking around the track and I thought this lady was being weird. Cause I was like, why does she keep, you know, like she kept, she, she kind of looked like she was following me. So I was like, why is she being weird? She wasn't being weird. She was trying to catch up to me at the track so she could ask me what I was wearing. And I hadn't even sprayed myself that day. I had sprayed myself yesterday. I mean the day before and the, the smell was so strong that she literally was like, hey, what you wearing? I need that. And so I told her the name and she took a note of it in her phone to go buy it. it smells good. Okay, so my next fragrance is also to me a day-to-day -day fragrance. Um, Marc Jacobs is a day-to-day -day fragrance to me. Bay said he likes it for date night. Coco Chanel is a pop-out fragrance. For real. 
this is a day-to-day -day fragrance and this is Gabriella Antosh um, Gisela um, I went to the mall the outlets in Virginia with my dad and I smelled this and I loved it and I still love it oh it just smells it smells like very fresh so day-to-day -day fragrance this mixes well with any lotion no scented lotion or like your bath and body works lotions it will mix well it uh, mixes very well with uh champagne toast it smells so good so get this gabriella and tosh it's called gisella and i have the perfume and just so you know they say perfumes are better all right so moving on to the next one they bought this for me for my birthday and i was in denver at a team meeting and one of my team members she smelled really good and i was like girl what are you wearing you smell so good and she said oh i'm wearing jimmy choo and i said okay so i know like jimmy choo has more than one fragrance so which one are you wearing i need to know sis which one so she said i'm wearing i want you so here it is Jimmy Choo, I want you. So like, I'm just gonna, like me and Bae, both of us really love fragrances, y'all. So we both have a list in our phones. Like I have a list of fragrances in my phone that he likes and he has a list of mine. So for my birthday this past year, he bought me this Jimmy Choo. Last year for Christmas, he bought me this. And this is, uh carolina herrera good girl um i have to remember which one this is because she has good girl which is the the black one but i can't remember what the red one is good girl perfume i'm googling it now so the red one is called very good girl here he is this and this one, y'all, same thing. When I put this on, people would be like, what, do you, what are you wearing? What do you have on? Also, I can smell it all day and it smells like very fresh. The only thing I will say about this one is the heel is very heavy, y'all. So I always be afraid that I'm gonna drop it and break it. Uh, I did drop it one time and it's like stuffed up the heel and I almost had a panic attack. So I was like, oh my God, oh my God, my, my perfume, my perfume but it's okay now so this past christmas bay bought me a three set of eve saint laurent um and i forgot to bring that with me so i'm gonna pop in like a video on the side here of those three fragrances but i want to say that it's uh black opium mon paris something like that and then uh la belle and to be honest uh i've got a video of it in my phone so i'm gonna look at it but i don't i thought okay so i heard the youtube girl who's talking about black opium so when i saw that that was a part of the trio i was really really excited and to to be honest black opium is the one that i like the least <laughs> um so okay yeah it's uh mon paris libre i said labelle Mon Paris, Libre, and Black Opium. So Mon Paris is my favorite one. Libre is my second. Or I might have those two mixed up. If I do, I'll put it on the screen because I gotta go home and smell them. And then Black Opium is my least favorite, y'all. And that's crazy. So those are three more fragrances that I added this year. And then, y'all, my Creme de la Creme fragrance is this right here. yes that says louis vuitton and it's called rose rose de vince rose de vince i'm gonna put the name on the screen but it opens up okay and then you pull the bottle out and y'all look how much is left and that's because it smells so good i use it all the time i love this fragrance and i got this when we went to italy we went to milan and i have not been able to find this fragrance in america at all so i guess i'm gonna have to go back to milan and get it again because it's almost gone 
Um, it was like $225 in Milan. Um, my mom and my sister also got a fragrance while we were there and same thing. We can't find any of the fragrances that they got while we were there in the States. So I don't know if Milan just has like, like fragrances, exclusive fragrances. And I mean, honestly, if they do, I understand that. That's, you know, it's Milan, fashion capital of the world. But I'm gonna have to go back, y'all. I'm gonna have to go back to Milan and find that fragrance because this smells so good. And it's another one of those fragrances where every time I wear them, people be like, girl, what you got on? And I ain't gonna lie, y'all. When people ask me about that one, I be flexing. I be like, oh, that's just, you know, a little Louis Vuitton that I got while I was in Milan, Italy. And I be acting like Cardi B. Y'all know how Cardi B be like, what's up, y'all? <laughs> drink my sparkling water and eat your spaghettis that'd be me when people ask me about this fragrance uh, i'd be like oh i was just in milan randomly you know drinking sparkling water eating spaghetti and i just happened to walk up on the louis vuitton store the same one that kim kardashian goes to and buy that fragrance what about it Y'all, if y'all got fragrances that smell good or that you can recommend to me, put them in the comments below. Tell me your fragr favorite fragrances. Um, I will go to the store and smell them, honey. And if I like them, I will buy them. And if I don't buy them, I will add it to my list for my man so he can buy it. <laughs> but okay, that is my fragrances, my current fragrant collection. And more to come, more to be added. Peace, y'all.